Hey everybody, this is Angle with the seller for a new tutorial. Yeah, so about having this awesome text box effect in your presentation. This is a simple but stunning effect that I'm sure you're amazed too. It's so simple to make, trust me. So, in here, we can really rely on traditional wipe effect. Instead, we will use mats, uh, mats and rectangle and anchor point definers in this one to achieve an easing effect similar to after effects and to make it easily manipulate. So, I'll talk too much, so let's get started. So, first, you need a slide, of course, duh. In this type of animation, we need to use guides to make sure we see the center of the slide and we don't lose in clicks. Next, add a text box. It can be any text. I will type grotesque. No, uh, amazing statement. I'll make it align to the center of the slide and make the alignment of the text to center. Next, insert a large rectangle at the, bottom, at the bottom center of the slide. This will serve as the mat when we animate the text. Make it fill with a temporary color like gray. Next, insert a thin rectangle, same as width of the text, so it is uniformed. Change the width of the rectangle to be its height, and alternatively, we can rotate the rectangle to be its horizontal. Make it longer than the text and place it over top of the gray rectangle. Duplicate the gray rectangle by pressing Ctrl plus D and place it to the top center. Duplicate this rectangle and place it to the bottom of the second rectangle. Duplicate the thin rectangle and make the width and make the height of it its width. And enlarge its height to at least it touch the two horizontal rectangles. Place it to the center of the slide. Next, add a rectangle at the left of the vertical rectangle. Make it make it snap to the left side of the vertical rectangle. Duplicate the rectangle and place it to the right side of the vertical rectangle. Fill the first rectangle with a temporary color. And the second one with none. This rectangle will define the anchor point of the whole shape, in this case, the vertical rectangle. Next, select the three, then right click, click group, then group. Next is to animate the group by clicking animations, add animations, and in the motion pads, select lines. Make the direction go to the left. Next, duplicate the group and go to the rotate, then flip horizontal. Align it to the center of the slide. Change the motion path direction to go to the right. Next, change the color of the temporary colors to the color of the background, in this case, white. Make so far all the animations play with previous. Select the two animations and increase the smooth end to its full.
Next, copy the vertical rectangle then paste it. Align it to the center of the slide. Add a flying in animation to it. As you can see, we don't want the vertical rectangle on top overlay, so we need to add a appear sequence to it. Fancy turn for appear and disappear animation. <coughs> we need to adjust the animation queue, so we need the animation pin. Select the vertical rectangle at the top, then select disappear. Change the order to the second queue. Add a, add a 0.5 second delay to it. Select the two motion pads, then make it delay by 0.5 seconds. Select the true shapes, then add an appear animation to it. Then add a delay by 0.5 seconds. Change the order of the motion paths to last queue. Select the horizontal rectangle and the text and add an appear animation to it. Add delay by 0.5 seconds. In all cases, we need a smooth animation to appear, so select the vertical rectangle and adjust the smooth end to its full. Lastly, the only thing to do is to change the color of these rectangles to the background color and make it appear to the front. And after all of that, your text box is done. You can add a flying effect to the two horizontal rectangles to add more style to it. So if you want to change the title to text, go to selection pane, select the text box, bring it to front, change the text, send it to back, and done. Here you change the text title of the slide. So most of the work is done, you can show off. <laughs> so this leads to the end of the tutorial, like and subscribe to this channel for more PPTs, comment for a request tutorial, then I'll see you in the next video.